Hey guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Erin and her name is Letty or Scarlett. We call her Letty for short. She has decided to join us in this video. She's sitting in my lap. Hi baby. Hi <laughs> sugar. I love you. Yes she is. She's a little cuddle today and we're by ourselves so she's joining the video. So I hope you guys don't mind. She probably will leave when she gets distracted so she's just here for a little bit probably unless she stays here for the whole video then we just have a special guest but today is book review friday and i'm reviewing jack and jill by keelan patrick burke i know i know i keep reviewing his books i only got one more to read and review for you guys and then you won't see any more currently in this time i will probably buy more of his books because i'm obsessed but this book is crazy like really crazy like super 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 crazy i mean all his books are really crazy he has incredible plots that you would never think of but i do want to give a disclaimer at the beginning of this video before we even get into anything if you are um sensitive to material in including like sexual abuse or sexual abuse of children or if you are a victim of sexual abuse um, as a child or anything like that I probably wouldn't read this um, this talks a lot about sexual abuse um, especially with kids so if you are sensitive to that stuff I would click out right now this is not the book for you I have other books that don't include stuff like that that you could read that are on my channel so feel free to just click out but I just want to get that out there because this does have a lot of that in there and I don't want anyone to be um side blind by that it's yeah it's really in there so let's talk about the cover so honestly it I I don't really know what it is I I really I really don't it kind of looks like a head or what are you doing it kind of looks like a head or like a shape of a head or something like that. Uh, maybe the, the main character? I, I'm not really sure. But again, it's the soft um, matte cover, which I love. I actually really like the colors, like the like off-white with like marks on it. And then like the black, the little bit of red. I don't know. It's very eye-catching, which is weird because it's not super colorful but it's very neutral in the aspect that I want to look at it so let's read <clears throat> let's read the back of the book when they were kids Jillian and John used to visit the local cemetery every Sunday after church it was a curious place for children to frequent but they had their reasons the main attraction was the lofty hill that separated the cemetery from the elementary school and the act of tumbling down it like Jack and Jill was a ritualistic escape from the abuse they were suffering at their father's hands. It was an escape that lasted only until John's tragic death. Now, Jillian is all grown up, married with two children. She has managed over the years to force the trauma of her nightmarish childhood into the darkest recesses of her mind. But lately there are dreams, and in them Jillian sees impossibly vivid reenactments of the horrors she endured as a child. Nightly, she sees John die all over again, only not in the way she remembers. And something else is in those dreams, stalking her, a terrible figure with wire hanger hands and a plastic bag wrapped around its rotten face. A monster whose reach starts to extend beyond the boundaries of sleep into the walk waking world, threatening everything Jillian holds dear, a monster she once called Daddy. So, as you can see, the main focus of this book is sexual abuse. It's a very dark book. Like, I mean, I... Very dark. Like... I can't imagine a lot of people probably liking this unless you like horror and like stuff like this and it's very like common for you to you know read that kind of stuff but it's 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 a lot like it's very um it's very sad it's it kind of reminds me of Blinky by him except that one's the loss of a child and this I mean you could argue that they're both loss of children loss of like innocence versus loss of a life you know I think it's pretty, I don't know, he likes to deal with, like, these very dark issues that are very real. I mean, sexual abuse is very 
real and so is losing a child and he kind of like spins them to even make them more horrific than they already are which is like crazy to me because like I mean they're already pretty bad so then like he adds this like you know paranormal supernatural element and you're like oh my god you know so let's start Jillian is the gr the main character and she's married and she has two children and one's a girl and one's a boy I think Sam and Jenny and Jillian's having problems she can't sleep very well because when she goes to sleep she's having these nightmares about you know her sexual abuse and then when she wakes up she has to deal with her husband who he understands what she's going through but like he obviously doesn't know the full story she never really told him I don't think and he doesn't he he gets that she went through a trauma but like he kind of just wants her to like get over it I guess and he kind of just wants her to deal with it which I kind of get his point because she's not functioning very well she's not going to work she's not really taking care of the kids anymore she's kind of just there and I get why he wants her to like go get help get therapy you know that kind of thing because I mean obviously she needs to deal with stuff and she's like she's very irritable she like doesn't really want to work on their marriage so they're going through a lot like their marriage is very rocky and she starts having not starts having the nightmares but she starts having very vivid nightmares so she's not even asleep when they're happening they're like almost hallucinations I would call them like she sees her son has a distorted like face and she would start screaming and her kids like right there in front of her fine you know so her husband gets really upset and he's like you know I need you to work through this like I'm sorry but like we, we have a family you need to get it together and so he goes away for a weekend with the kids to his mom's house and she decides she doesn't really want to lose her family so she decides to visit her father and her father is I think he lives like 45 minutes away from them or something like that he lives very close and she goes there I guess for closure she wants like to know why he was abusing his children or you know whatever and she goes there and he's very rude I mean he's not nice he's not a nice person he's just kind of like what do you want you ruined my life like what are you doing here and all this stuff and I'm just kind of like didn't you ruin her life well whatever you know just me okay so like she's trying to like talk to him she wants to know like why he's doing it and he just won't like he just won't answer he just is like you know I want you to leave and so he goes upstairs and all this stuff and she goes upstairs to check on him because she sees the figure from her dreams in his house so the monster with the wire hangers and the uh bag over his head um he has like wire hanger hands and a bag over his head yeah and she sees that in her in the dad's house and she kind of like freaks out but she goes upstairs to check on him and he's on his bed like crying like talking to himself I guess like saying like they don't understand like I was trying to love them or whatever he was saying so she leaves and she writes down her phone number on like a piece of paper and like leaves it at his house and like you know and she decides that she's you know she's gonna move on from this she wants to keep her family whatever so the, the husband and the kids come back and um the husband and her decide to go out and have a drink and like try to go more on a date kind of thing like like a you know like things that they used to do because they're trying to work on their marriage and so they're hanging out they're having a great time um the older sister is watching the little brother at home for them so they can go out and they have a great time they go home and um she goes to check on the kids and she notices that they have a message, like a little light blinking on like the answering machine. And she's like, well, I'll check it later. And she goes to check on her children and um, her son's asleep. And her daughter, she opens the door and her daughter's like sitting at her desk and she won't like answer her. And so she's like, what are you doing? Like what's going on? And she is going to turn on the lights to check on her kid. And she hears the little, like, not little, I guess, the teen girl say, um, oh, should I say it? Yeah, I guess so. I'll give away some stuff. And, uh, she says, mommy, daddy touches me. And she's like, what? So she turns on the light and her daughter's actually in bed sleeping. 
like she wasn't in the chair at all and so <sighs> she kind of like checks her daughter her daughter's like groggily awake like hi mom oh my god what are you doing like hey you know like she's like half asleep and so she kind of just like forgets it for a little bit she like goes back downstairs and her and her husband talk a little bit more and uh they decide they're going to have sex because um they're trying to re-establish their relationship and he just can't get it up he just can't um they try for like I guess like a while like a good hour probably and it just won't work and you know he she's like well you're you're drunk you know you're wasted um it's been a while and he like confesses to her it hasn't been a while for him uh he says honey I made a mistake and she obviously is a very heart like heartbroken and hurt because you know her husband's just confessed that he cheated on her and like yeah their marriage was rocky but like you know he just went and got comfort from another woman so she's very upset like obviously I mean I don't really blame her and she I think she goes and sleeps in the living room or something like that she goes in there and she has a a very interesting dream Oh, wait, did she check the voicemail first? I don't remember. No, okay, before she falls asleep, when she goes downstairs, I'm pretty sure she listens to the voicemail, and it's the police saying her father was found dead, and they called her because her number was, like, left there. And, she, you know, then she goes to sleep, and she has this very vivid dream, which I'm not going to go into detail about because, honestly, it gives away some key elements of the ending, and I really... I'm trying not to spoil the ending for you guys, um, because it's, it's a crazy ending. Honestly, I don't want to spoil it. So she has this vivid dream, which, uh, kind of gives her closure, but also gives her a new thing to deal with in her head. She starts understanding some things that she, uh, I guess overlooked in her mind so she wakes up and her husband um didn't go into work he's staying home and he's cooking breakfast and he's trying to like make it pretty normal I guess he like you know wants them to um work things out even though she's pretty you know mad because she just found out he cheated on her so she's like you know what I'm gonna take the kids to school and he's like, oh, yeah, okay. And, you know, she's like, I haven't done it in a while. I want to, you know, get back to being the mom that I should be and whatever. So she takes the kids to school and on the way to school, <laughs> she stops the car and she turns around to ask them, does daddy touch you? Which I was very shocked when this happened. I was very confused because um, I really didn't understand where she was coming from at first um I'll get into that in a moment and the son doesn't understand what she's saying I mean he's just so young I don't think he like understands what like you know it means and the sister uh she like freaks out and she has a very strong reaction which the mom takes as a affirmation that her guess is correct um, so she takes them to school and she comes home and something happens. <laughs> I'm not going to say what happens because it's a very crazy ending. But the, the, the only thing I have with the ending, and I get that it's like up to me, I guess, to decide, is if the father is actually sexually abusing the kids because honestly I did not get that from the very beginning middle or end I could not tell the only thing that like kind of throws you is when she went to check on her daughter and her daughter like says mommy daddy touches me but then was that a hallucination because she wasn't ever in the chair she was in the bed the whole time so like did she actually say that or does the main character like does Jillian have like this power to like I guess communicate with dreams like does she get information from her dreams that is actually true kind of like I'm not really a psychic but like can she communicate with maybe the dead because she does talk to her little brother in her dream before 
the end and she talks to her father and she gets answers to an extent um there's also more with the little brother that I don't want to go into because he did die did I mention that did I mention he died I think it says so in the back of the book right that he's dead yeah John's dead uh you learn about his death which is very interesting because I did not see that coming but um yeah his death was very crazy and so like I don't know if he actually was sexually abusing his kids. I mean, her father, like, you know, Jillian's dad definitely sexually abused her and John. But was Jillian's husband abusing the kids? I can't tell. Does she have some communication with the dead that she can, like, uh, get information from? Was she, you know, was the, was her little brother giving her information about her husband that, like, she didn't know but, like, you know... I don't know like I can't tell and it kind of makes sense because her daughter hates her like she's she hates her mom she hates her mom and you know it would make sense that she hates her mom because her mom has been so absent and her dad if her dad was sexually abusing her and then the mom's absent you would resent your mom because she's not helping you so that makes sense but like I don't know what I believe and if she's wrong about it, if Jillian's wrong about her husband sexually abusing her kids, then the ending is even worse than it could be because some things go down. So I don't know, like I'm so split. I think he could have been doing it, but I also don't know if I see all the like correlations, I guess, connections, you know? So I, I don't know. I think it's up to you to like, decide if she was overcompensating for uh not helping her younger self and her brother or if she was like overreacting or if she just has this intuition because she was sexually abused you know like does she just like feel it you know oh I don't know it's crazy this book was this this was a very good book this is honestly tied with sour candy for me because honestly I kind of like this one better because the ending was so crazy and I like this ending better than Sour Candy's ending so I don't know guys this book is crazy you have to let me know if you've read this and how you feel about the ending did you think that she was right about her husband or was she was she overreacting because of her trauma catching up with her like was her trauma just so deep and wounding her so severely that she kind of went over the deep end and she did something that she shouldn't have? I don't know. I, I don't. I don't know. I don't know. You'll have to let me know in the comments if you read this. I want to know your opinion on the ending. So please let me know if you've read this book. It is so, so good. If you aren't, um, you know, sensitive to sexual abuse or anything like that, then I think this book is really, really good. He just knows how to take really sad things and make them even worse. <laughs> and I mean that in a good way. I like it, but it's just very interesting. So let me know if you read it. Let me know if you liked it. Let me know what you thought about the ending if you did read this so yes i hope you guys enjoyed uh please give me a like subscribe comment and i will see you guys in my next video bye